Next, we need to display these calculated values. So far, we have created four labels to show the amount of nutrition on the nutrition screen, label 9, label 10, label 11, label 12. The amount of vitamins in label 10, the amount of calcium in label 11, and the amount of calories in label 12 need to be indicated. We mentioned in the requirement screen how much each nutrition should be in the breakfast. When we show the amount of nutrients in the food item selected here, we need to indicate how much of the amount should be as half. These nutritions need to be displayed on the nutrition screen that is displayed when the tap me button on the tiffin screen is clicked. So let's go on to the on event tap me click code block. First, to display the amount of proteins, I drag a set text code block under UI controls into the on event code block. Here, the label required to display the text is given as label 9. Let's drag a code block with the plus sign under math for the text section. Let's give the total amount of protein that should be on the right side of the plus sign. This text need to be displayed, so type slash 30 in inverted commas. Drag a code block with the plus sign in the math section to the left of the plus sign. Drag a my function encode block under functions to the right side of this plus sign. Let's give the name of this function as getProtein. Remove the letter n and type protein here. It is given as protein in inverted commas to the left of the plus sign. The amount of vitamins should be displayed as label 10 text. For this as before, click UI controls and drag a set text code block here. Let's give label 10 here and drag a code block with the plus sign under math for text section. The amount of vitamins to the right of the plus sign is given as slash 15 in inverted commas. Drag a code block with the plus sign under math to the left side of the plus sign. Drag my function n code block under functions to the right side of this plus sign. The name of the function is given here as get vitamin. Let's type vitamin here instead of n. Type vitamin in inverted commas on the left side of the plus sign. In this way, it is necessary to display the amount of calcium in label 11. Again, the set text code block under UI controls is dragged into the on event code block. Here, the label required to display the text is given as label 11. Let's drag a code block with the plus sign under math for the text section. Let's give the total amount of calcium that should be on the right side of the plus sign. This text need to be displayed like this, so type slash 200 in inverted commas. Drag a code block with the plus sign in the math section to the left of the plus sign. Drag a my function n code block under functions to the right side of this plus sign. Let's give the name of the function here as get calcium. Remove the letter n and type calcium here. It is given as calcium in inverted commas to the left of the plus sign. Now what is left to display is the amount of calories. Calories should be displayed in label 12. For this as before, click UI controls and drag a set text code block here. Let's give the label 12 here and drag a code block with the plus sign under math for the text part. The total number of calories to the right of the plus sign is given as slash 360 in inverted commas. Drag a code block with the plus sign under math to the left side of the plus sign. Drag a my function end code block under functions to the right side of the plus sign. Here, the name of the function is given as get calories. Let's type calories here instead of n. Type calories in inverted commas to the left of the plus sign. OK, now we have completely created the breakfast planner. Now, let's click the run button. First, the home screen will be displayed. Let's click on this let's make tiffin button. The amount of nutrients that should be contained in our breakfast is displayed here on the requirement screen. Now, click on explore food options button. When you move the mouse to each food item, the amount of nutrients contained in that food item will be displayed like this. I click once on pancake and twice on milk. You can also go back to the home screen by clicking the home button. 
or you can click the tap me button and go to the nutrition screen. Let's click the tap me button. Here the selected food item will be displayed along with the quantity. Also on these four labels the total amount of protein, vitamin, calcium and calories in the food item is displayed. If you made it in this way, you little ones are very talented. Send your designs to me on WhatsApp to note 76 812 Tell your friends also about the design you made today. Check out this app to send to me as well as to send to your friends. And one more thing, join the DP Coding School Telegram group. Try to be the DP Code Champ Best of the Week every week. Stay tuned. See you with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a nice day.